What's up YouTube, Jason Wardrop here, and in this video I'm gonna break down how to generate mortgage leads step by step. So this is one of the many mortgage lead campaigns that we've got for you guys. And literally in this video, guys, I'm gonna unveil everything. I'm gonna show you guys everything from the Facebook ad. I'm gonna show you guys the exact copy because I don't know about you guys, but there's a lot of videos on YouTube, whether it's for the mortgage industry or real estate, where they, they say they're gonna show you exactly what to do, but then they hide like all this key stuff that's important to actually know when you're going through and setting up your Facebook ad, your landing page, your targeting, or any of that. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna break it down step by step. And as a special bonus for you guys, if you guys give this video a thumbs up and comment down below, comment mortgage leads, then I'm gonna share you guys my step by step tutorial as well. And you guys can see we've got the overview here. We're gonna show you guys how to set up the landing pages, automated emails, Facebook tracking, Facebook ads. And I give you guys literally like the ad copy, the targeting, everything in this video. And this is 100% free. All you have to do is if you're brand new here, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and then also give this video a thumbs up and comment mortgage leads down below. And I will share this with you guys 100% for free so you guys can get off to a good start with your lead generation, right? Now, if you guys are, this is your first time here to the channel, my name is Jason Wardrop and I help real estate agents and mortgage brokers go through and generate more leads and set appointments from those leads. In the past 18 to 24 months, I've worked with over 4,000 real estate agents, mortgage brokers, LOs, and we've been able to have a lot, a lot, a lot of success. So um, once again, guys, if you guys want this, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. So with that said, let me just show you guys really quick the whole process of what we're going to be setting up, a quick overview. So this is basically what it looks like for mortgage leads, real estate leads, whatever leads you're really trying to go through and generate. So you've got a Facebook ad here, a Facebook post you can see on the left-hand side of your screen. And then when someone's scrolling through their newsfeed on their mobile phone, on desktop, whatever it is, they see the ad, they click on the ad, and they're going to a landing page or lead capture page instead of your main website, right? Now, if you've been in business for some time now, you've probably got a website and you probably notice that you never see any leads from that website. And if you do, the, the agents and brokers, and everyone that I work with it, they actually do see leads coming to their website. It's like one to two a month and it's very sporadic and they never really know when the next lead's coming from. So. This is why you want to send them to a landing page because it's very simple, clear, concise, and basically it just it just ups your conversion rate of generating a whole lot more leads for the amount of money you're spending on Facebook advertising, right? And then after they go through and opt in with their name, phone, and email, okay, that's what I call a lead, someone's name, phone number, and email address, not a like or a comment on a Facebook post. We have an automated email and text marketing follow-up in place to go through and nurture and be able to set appointments from those leads that we're generating. So anyway, you guys, in this video, we're going to break down this whole entire process. Um, so first, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the landing page because if you don't have a landing page and the email text marketing follow-up, then you don't have anywhere to send the people when they click on your Facebook ad. So you want to get the landing page set up first, then the email and text marketing follow-up. And then once you have that done, we'll actually set up the Facebook ad. And we're going to all do it everything in this video right here. So let's just jump over and... Um, so what I like to do, we've got this software that we built out. It's called Arsenal MKG, Arsenal Marketing. It's specific for real estate agents and for LOs. And it, we got all these templates in here that makes it so much easier for you guys when you go through and set up your marketing, your lead generation campaign. So you can see I've got some existing landing pages right here. Now, to go through and create a new landing page, just like I was showing you guys, I want to click on Create Another Landing Page. And then we've got these real estate lead page templates and we've got the mortgage lead page templates. Now, the campaign that we're setting up today is this down payment assistance lead campaign. Now, this is one of many, many mortgage campaigns that we have, but I want to just break down and show you guys step by step because the whole technical process is basically the same. It's just really changing up what you say on the Facebook ad, what's set on the landing page, and what's set in the follow-up. All right, so jump back here, the down payment assistance. So we've got this down payment assistant landing page, which is already pre-built, done for you guys. So we just click on choose, which this will kick us into the website builder where we can go through and edit the images, text, everything and customize it to you and your business. But nice thing is you don't really have to change out the background image. You don't have to change out a lot of this stuff. But if you want to edit it, you hit click to edit this section and you can see we've already got the headline, subheadline, and call to action already done and ready for you. Now you can see it says find down payment assistance in 
and then your state so you want to update that with your state so let's say for this example I live in Utah so we'll just use uh, Utah as an example here so we'll say in Utah this is, is the smallest investment you can make to get all of your questions answered and that's it guys everything else is literally ready for you guys to go and so what we'll do from here is click on save it says website saved and published and then we come back here to the main dashboard and we can see this landing page that we just set up so you see it right here on your dashboard we click on go to site and you can see okay this is the link where we're gonna be sending people from Facebook they'll click on this link they'll come to this landing page say hey find down payment assistance in Utah get down payment assistance they put in their name email phone number and then you can even add some custom fields like this one has when are you looking to move like right now one month three months whatever it is so you can kind of have an idea of how soon this person's looking to go through and get started and they hit submit they become a lead in your database and then we can start the whole email and text marketing follow-up process so that was pretty easy right like get up this landing page that took us like what maybe 60 seconds and I was taking time to demo and show you guys so it's really not that difficult right so now coming back here we have this landing page now for everyone that comes in and puts in their information we can have these automated follow-ups where you can see how many people were sent the emails how many people opened the emails and how many people clicked on the email so you've got all of your analytics right here at a glance and look at this we've already got the first email already pre-built pre-done for you guys so you don't really even have to worry about it so it says hi first name it's gonna auto populate with the first name that they put in on the landing page so it's always gonna be update up to date and correct because my name is and it's gonna auto fill with your name and you can go through and look through the emails and see like what it says but like we've already kind of we want to simplify this as much as possible for you guys so we've already got this done right then let's say you want to add another email or another text message all you have to do is click on create new email or new text message so if you got like a new text message so you can say something like you know hey um, how soon are you looking to move or something like that and we've got all these pre-built email and text marketing script templates you guys can literally just copy and paste like we've made this so simple for you guys because I get it I've worked with a lot of agents a lot of LOs you have so many other things that are more important than you going through and setting all this stuff up and so we wanted to go through and simplify as much as possible for you guys and eliminate a lot of the unnecessary work and just get all of these campaigns basically pre-built pre-done for you all right so once you get the the copy and paste template in here we just hit publish okay oh we didn't add a name we'll just put demo right in here we hit publish and then we're starting to build this automated follow-up sequence right now you guys get the gist of it I'm not gonna go through and build like a full-on 10-day sequence but we have the email and text marketing templates that can allow you to go through and do that it's literally just as simple as copy and paste you copy it you paste it so so easy and then now that we've got the landing page built we've got the email and text marketing follow-ups here now we want to set up a Facebook ad where we're sending people to this URL right here so we can generate more leads now remember what we said about send them to a landing page a landing page is actually gonna convert about 15 to 20 percent of people visiting your page into leads whereas your main website you might be lucky to get just one percent of people visiting your website to actually become leads Okay, and you're probably already seeing that right now in your business so that's why it's really important to use a landing page just like this it's very clean very simple and basically there's no other links or ads or anything else to distract somebody or other things for them to click on so it's basically come in here find down payment assistance they either want it or they don't they either opt in or they don't and then from there we either generate a lead or they don't opt in but we get a lot higher conversion rate so now if we come over here to the Facebook Ads Manager what we we'll want to do in here is come over here to create a new campaign all right so we'll create a campaign now um, we'll start over here now Facebook has so much data on every single user every single person that's jumping in there that they know which people are more likely to watch a video or like or comment on your post or click to your website or opt in to become a lead right now that's why you want to go through and this is actually very important to go through and choose your marketing objective 
And most LOs that I've worked with that have not really seen any results with Facebook advertising is because they're going through and they're clicking that boost page or uh, boost post button on their Facebook page. And the whole goal of that is to get more likes, comments, and shares. Okay, not to get actual leads, which likes and comments and shares, those are cool, but like it's more of a vanity metric, right? So we want to get actual leads. So what we're going to choose with this landing page is this conversions objective right here. So we'll click on conversions and then we'll say um, demo down pay assistance. We'll just give it a name, we'll say down pay right there. We'll click continue. And then now at this point, this is where we want to go through and choose the audience of people who are actually going to go through and target, right? So we're going to give it a name and we'll just say where we, so we're in Utah, Utah down pay assistance. And then for the conversion, what we want to do, we just want to make this very basic and simple. So Facebook actually has a lot of what they call standard conversions, which basically means like, if somebody goes to your landing page and they opt in, they have converted into a lead. So they are now a conversion. So we want to come down here and you can see this one right here. It's called lead. So we want to go through and have Facebook track everyone that becomes a lead in our system. So we'll just choose lead right there and then we'll come down. We can skip over some of this, this core stuff right here. And what we want to do when we get to the audience is let's say that we are in Utah, right? So let's say we're in Salt Lake City, Utah, just kind of like the, the capital right here. Um, so instead of the United States and everyone in this location, we want to exit out of that. And then we're just going to type in Salt Lake City, Utah, right there. And then instead of everyone in this location, because there could be people traveling here, like if they're coming out to you know go mountain biking or skiing or whatever it is, we don't want people that don't live here, right? So we only want people who live in this location. Okay, that's big. That's one thing a lot of people miss. And then you can see how this potential reach is 950,000 people. Depending on how like big of a radius you're willing to go through and work, you can see you've got the 25 mile radius right here. Or you could go down to, let's say, a 10 mile radius if you live in a really big city, right? And Salt Lake's a fairly decent sized city. It's not like one of the bigger ones, but it's fairly decent size. Um, or we could go through and we could say, current city only okay so that drops it down to 430,000 people and then as we move down the nice thing is this page that I've got over here for you we've got all of the interest targeting everything already done in here so this is what the ad is actually gonna look like then down here you can see what the actual interests are are targeting so you've got 25 to 65 English um, this one was done in California uh, but we can come up here and so let's go and um, choose 25 and sometimes I like to go even a little bit older sometimes I like to go like 27 because we're looking for people that are you know in the the range to be able to buy a home and sometimes like below the 27 28 range from what I found it's you know you could have people that are looking to buy a home but it's usually kind of a little bit older demographic that are looking to go through and buy a home now languages you can come in here you can update these languages you can say just English or just Spanish or just whatever language you want to go through and target I typically am gonna leave it blank because there's a lot of offices where you have people that are bilingual that can speak multiple different languages that you know you, you don't want to say no to somebody that is interested in going through and buying a home and you want to be able to help them out now as we come down here one thing for the detail targeting now Facebook's taken a lot away a lot of the detail targeting as far as like being able to go through and target people based on their income and a lot of other things which which is totally fine this still works amazingly well and we've got even some custom audience tricks and, and hacks and stuff that we do as well but one thing that is just kind of like a general good place to start is for targeting Usually if somebody's looking to buy a home, they're kind of surfing around on Zillow, Trulia, maybe Realtor.com. And so we can come in here and we can include people that like maybe Zillow, right? So we can see we've got a 330,000 size audience. And if we go through and select that, it drops, it can drop it down a little bit. It looks like there, this one didn't have a drop at all. But then we come down here, we say Trulia, and you can see it's just, it's updating. And maybe that's not like the true number right there because sometimes it takes a second for Facebook to fully update it. But we want to come in here and put some of these different places where you know people would be searching if they're interested in going through and buying a home. 
Okay, so we come in here and add us some of these basic interest targeting right here and then as far as like um, Expanding interest you see how this is checked. I always like to uncheck that and you can see up here. Look at this this dropped down to 61,000 because the update I think because of my targeting right here and then I unchecked that and so it got pretty specific with our targeting and this is what we really want to get to right and then coming down here for the placements they say automatic placements which is recommended however one thing that I found in my experience of going through and doing all this I I like to come down here and do edit placements and I like to uncheck everything besides the Facebook news feed okay it just it works the best typically you're seeing a lower cost per lead and overall it's just gonna work out better for you okay so just trust me on this I've worked with a lot of agents and brokers and, and LOs and it, it just works out better okay so we've got that Facebook news feeds right there you can see it dropped down to 35,000 500 2,000 people on our daily reach and then coming down here we've got our daily budget so this really depends on your budget now an, an audience of about 35,000 people that's pretty small right so I probably want to spend more than five dollars per day on an audience that small now if you've got an audience of a hundred thousand people or more you could go to like more of the 10 to 15 to 20 dollar range but when it's this small I usually like to start like around the five dollars per range now one thing you got to keep in mind though if you're spending five dollars per day on leads and it costs you five dollars to generate a lead you're probably only gonna generate one lead per day right I mean it's just the math like five dollars per lead five dollars a day one lead per day so that's just kind of how it works is just like kind of manage your expectations and then coming down here all this stuff Facebook's got like some pretty good basic um, features all set right here so I don't really mess with any of this so then I'm gonna come over here to continue and then we choose the Facebook page that we want to run it from so I'm not gonna choose this one I'm gonna go through and I've got this mortgage broker page I'll choose to run it from okay now you ideally you want to run it from your actual Facebook page that has your name your profile picture to get your branding out there in the market okay and then we come down here and we choose single image ad and then for the image I actually have this down here right here for you guys you can just use this image okay so make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up comment down below so you guys can get access to all this it's gonna help you out a ton I promise you and then we come down here we upload the image I've got this on my desktop um, let's see right here okay so we've got this one right there then as far as the text goes we've already got that already done right here for you guys okay so we've got that we just copy that and we paste it in there and then we've got this URL remember we got want to use a URL to this landing page we created so we just click on that and we come in here we paste it in we've got our what's linking out now to our landing page okay and then our headline we've already got that in here too. find down payment assistance in and then we'll put Utah Utah and then we want to do learn more you've got we've got a lot of different options for call to actions but learn more in my experience that's been the best um, cause it's not like too aggressive but it's you know they're they're interested they want to learn more so they're gonna click out to your landing page and then all this stuff you pretty much can leave just as is if you want to do a newsfeed link description we have it right here for you guys but typically it's not like it's not gonna be a total game changer if you don't put this in okay so now right here we can see what it looks like this is on a mobile phone or you you select through and you can see this is what it looks like on an actual um, desktop computer and then what we do from here is we just hit confirm which I'm not going to confirm this because obviously it's just a demo right here but at that point you're done you're set like it, it's all ready to go for you that you can go through you've got this ad it's running so when people in your target market they see it they're gonna click on it they're gonna come over here they're gonna opt in put in their name email phone what when are you looking to move hit submit then they're gonna come become a lead in the leads database over here or it can sync with your CRM if you guys have a CRM that you absolutely love it's very easy and then this automated follow-up drip sequence is gonna just automatically start taking place so that wasn't too hard right so we come down here and this is the whole process we just set up we set up the landing page first then we set up the email and text marketing follow-up then we set up the Facebook ad we did all the targeting we did everything we hit confirm it's ready to go it's running and then from there all you got to do is just let it run and I usually like to let my ads run for at least four to five days before I go in and determine if they're a winner or not 
okay? Because a lot of times it takes a little bit of time for Facebook's algorithm to go through an update and adjust to the targeting and everything that you've set up. And the biggest mistake I see is people turning off their ad campaigns too soon. They let it run for 24 or 48 hours. Maybe it generates one lead or doesn't generate a lead at all. They freak out and then they're like, oh, this doesn't work. They cancel it and then they're just done. Where sometimes it can take that three, four, five days before it actually goes through and starts converting at a higher level. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole entire walkthrough, the whole process. I literally did not hold back anything for you guys. Now, one thing, if you guys want me to go through and we've got a whole training section where we can train all of the LOs in your office, plus we can also give you training to help recruit more real estate agents into your office. And if you guys are interested in that and having my team go through and be able to train all your team and all the real estate agent partners and be able to recruit a ton more partners, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a link right below this video in the description where you can go through and schedule a call with either me or a member of my team. We'll jump on a call. We'll hear about your business, what you're really looking to accomplish and whether you want us to train the other LOs in your office or you want us to be able to just go through and train a group of real estate agent partners that you have to be able to have them refer all the business to you and then we train them on how to actually go through and generate leads for their business then um, we can figure it out and we can put a game plan together specifically for you for your office for your business so um, check out that link right below in the description and um, in our, most of our normal trains guys I do go a lot slower than this I know I went very fast but we've got this system down um, we've worked with so many LOs with so many agents. We know it works. We know it doesn't work We've tested hundreds of thousands of dollars of paid advertising So you can skip the trial and error you can skip the like guest game the guesswork and Wasting tons of money and time and just trying to figure this out. So anyway guys look down below Schedule a call for some time in the next couple of days uh, more than happy to go through and see um, What we can do to help you guys with your business be able to generate more leads set more appointments from those leads and ultimately close more deals so once again guys if you guys are brand new here make sure you guys subscribe to the channel we launch new videos every single week on how to generate more leads make more money and grow your business and also if you guys want that little free step-by-step um, -step tutorial on how to generate mortgage leads just like this video give it a thumbs up comment mortgage leads down below this video I'll hook you guys up with that and then once again if you guys want to jump on a 100% free strategy session with myself or another member of our team look in the description for a link to that and we'll get you hooked up So thanks so much for watching guys and with that said, I will see you all later